all right there you guys we are back at yogi instinct and it's been a hell of a day i mean you know it's a big box you can see that but is that beyblade burst is that beyblade metal fight you wanna guess right no this is gonna be the back from the past we have some plastic generation beyblades to unbox right here in front of us so without further ado Let's quickly dive right into it. Alright, so the first Beyblade we have is Shadow Drigger. Yes, this is called Shadow Drigger, although it does say Star on there. It appeared in quite a number of times in the Beyblade Burst. I've been waiting for this guy from such a long to complete my Drigger collection. And it's an amazing looking bay, right? Let's move on to the next. We have Easy Launcher Right Spin. You know, pretty stock launchers. You're gonna need one of those if you're gonna play Plastic Generation. Then we have the Left Spin Easy Launcher. And this Left Spin is specially made for Dragoons. I don't think there were many Left Spins back then. And this is one of the you know, latest ones we have out there. This is a weird one, but it's somehow called the bit launcher yep you know why that is called because you can see it goes with a different you know type of system on there uh it's just not for launching your beyblade it's also for storing bit chips on top you want to see where let me open and show you exactly here so you can store as many bit chips as you want i mean as much as they would fit right into the launcher so you can switch whenever you want a new bit chip on your Beyblade. That sounds exciting, right? Okay, let's move on to the next one. We have another easy launcher. Uh, no worries. And we have the Dragoon Winder or the Dragon Winder. And the lot also comes in with a normal winder. And, you know, it's a pretty basic one. So you can put your finger in and pull it out. It's most basically for that convenience. Now, what it all comes up with is this catapult grip launcher. Yeah, it's one of the easy launchers set up with the catapult grip and it's the white version. Catapult grip was used once by Rei in the anime. This basically, you know, is a white version of that, like a Royal Chosy Spriggan version. It all works with this lock on here. If it's locked like that, let me show you. You see that goes up? Now it's locked. Now nothing is movable. The grip is going to be stationary completely. But if you unlock it, it becomes like a shooting gun. You see that? It's not that smooth with my, like my, the, you know, I have the brown one. Not that smooth, but it becomes like a gun. It helps you, you know, like a catapult, throw your Beyblade right away. That's how this works. Yep, that's how it works. Let's move on to the next one. We have Bearing Stinger. It's got a little picture of Tyson on top of that. That's real nice. I mean, it's not the matching uh, bit chip, but yeah, it's got Tyson. And it comes with the first version of Bearing. This is how exactly Bearing used to look like back then. Anyways, moving on to the next. We have Ultimate Dragoon Grip Base. So Ultimate Dragoon, this white AR that you're looking at, and this is the grip base version. It's actually from the grip attacker, and it's in the one of the most amazing, you know, attack type bases ever. And it's like free spin. So can you imagine that? But you know, Ultimate Dragoon, the attack ring that you see on there, that's the first Beyblade ever created, guys. Ever that all began the hobby. Next up, we have Dragoon Fang. Yep, you can see right here. Dragoon Fang looks awesome, but it's missing one of the uh, attachments. I'll probably find another one for that and join it. And what we have next? We have Drigger Fang, one of my favorites, right? How can we not have Drigger in a plastic generation lot? That would be rude to me and my soul. All right, looks so perfect. Just missing a couple of bit of stickers, but we got an extra sticker sheet for that. Yep, 
Now move on to the next. We have Grifolion. Yep, those royal bladers. When you saw them in the anime, one of them it was leader, and their Beyblade was Grifolion. This is supposed to have you know upward spikes on here, but I guess they were broken. And this you know uh, space is free spinning as well. Looks awesome. I just need to work up on these stickers. I already have sticker scans. Gonna put them later. All right, we have the Dragoon Storm Phantom Force version, teal blue. Looks awesome. Just one sticker that I have to restick again, and it'll be looking once again as brand new. It's got the Dragoon as base and everything. It's one of those custom stickers that it comes with, so it's even more rare Beyblade, guys. Why rare? Because Phantom Force version is not even available anymore. And it looks so awesome, right? Look at that Dragoon in there. Wow. The stip is a bit used up, but that's it. Anyways, this is it for today, guys. This is it for the video. We have all the small lot of plastic generation came together. We wanted to unbox this as much as soon as we could. And this is up here. It's gonna add up to my collection. I'm gonna put maybe the Dragoon for sale because I already have one of those. And uh, maybe, you know, one of the Driggers I'm gonna keep in my Drigger collection. I might or might not sell it. But the grip and the bay pointer or the bit pointer launcher on there is just far away amazing. If you really like the video, please go ahead and put up your thumbs up on there. It doesn't take much of it, right? Just make sure to put a little like on there. And if you do that, it's gonna, you know, help, help you make a better person. Alright, so till then, this is a small plastic generation lot that we got for some added parts and some more bit chips and some winders and grips. Till then, Yogi Instinct signs out. Make sure you hit the like button. Alright, take care.